Look, no big secret, I love Andre the Giant. I made a whole video about why I like the guy. So, why don't we actually talk about a figure which has kind of become my favorite Andre figure? Like, just almost instantly? From Mattel's WWE uh, Ultimate Edition line, this is Andre the Giant. Easily the largest Ultimate Edition figure so far, and to be honest, possibly the best one too? There's a lot to like about this Andre. Take a closer look at Andre, and I really like the likeness on all four of his head sculpts, especially this one where he has just a very slight smile. This definitely puts you more in mind of, like, babyface Andre right before the big WrestleMania 3 switch. Um, all four of the head sculpts are varied, look great. Of course, you do have the singlet. Singlet is sculpted in, and even though I think it looks good, I'll be honest, I think I would have preferred a cloth singlet because due to the diaphragm joint, it does look a bit strange. Speaking of that diaphragm joint, this is easily the most articulated Andre we've ever had. With that ball joint in the head, butterfly joint in the shoulder, universal at the shoulder itself. Oop, a bit stuck on mine. And then of course you have a rotation at the upper arm, double jointed pinless elbow. It looks good, but it does kind of uh, collide with itself. Then of course you do have a rotation and a universal at all the wrists. We do have many alternate hands. Diaphragm joint, you have a waist joint, you have a universal down here at the hip. You have a thigh cut, double jointed knee, boot cut, foot articulation, and of course, toe articulation. All the things we expect from a ultimate edition figure, which now means, of course, you can get Andre doing a high kick. Let me see if I can actually get this sorted on camera. Um, that's almost what I want here. Hmm. Lean forward a little bit. Maybe I should have set this up first. Come on, arms. Help me out, arms. There we go. He's at least doing a sweet chin music. The Andre figure itself is spectacular, but you also get a huge amount of accessories, including, of course, the belt. You get two closed fists. You get two open kind of look at how big my hands are hands you get two gripping hands and you have two pointing hands great deal of options there a really cool detail about the hands is when you look there's a lot of like veins bursting out uh this is incredibly accurate to andre's hands and it's a level of detail i don't think they need to do but it's really cool that they managed to incorporate that, and it's on every set. You can especially see here on the fist how they're, like, popping up even more so. Uh, alongside that, right now I have his kind of Kubrick stare uh, head sculpt. We do have kind of a smirking head sculpt. I like that one a lot. It is great. That's probably my favorite one. You have this more kind of open, like, oh, 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 like kind of laughing or shouting face. And then you have this kind of more slight smirk. Looks a little bit more like a gentle giant. And then... Aside from the belt, my favorite accessory here has to be this. The Big Hand Andre t-shirt. Um, this was something he occasionally wore, but it was a piece of merchandise you could get of Andre. And it's such a good uh, addition here. I don't think we've ever had that in toy form. It's really cool to get it now. This really might be the single best Andre I have ever gotten. 